and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can tell by the title of this video today, I am actually going to be making a cold pasta salad. This pasta salad is honestly so, so delicious. If you haven't tried one like this, you need to try this recipe. I have to admit this is not my recipe. It's actually my mom's and she makes it for me every time she comes to visit because I just love it so, so much. So it does require a lot of prepping the ingredients and things like that. So just set aside a couple of hours, get this done and you'll be good to go for the rest of the week. And let me tell you, the longer this pasta salad sits in your fridge, the better it tastes. So I have added chicken to mine, um, that's just how I like it, but if you want to make this completely veggie, you can just skip the chicken and you are good to go. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe, if you do, please don't forget to leave a comment down below, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start by taking three medium potatoes that I am going to peel, wash and then I'm just going to slice them up and then I'm going to cut them into small cubes. So everything that I'm going to prepare is going to be around the same size. So um, just small pieces like so. Once your potatoes are all chopped you want to boil them until they are fully soft and let them cool completely. Next up, I've got some chicken breast that's also been cut into very small pieces. So I'm going to take a pan over a medium high heat. I'm adding around two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to pop the chicken straight in and then I'm going to season with some of this tandoori masala. You can find this in your local supermarkets. So I went ahead and added around two tablespoons. I think that is more than enough for the amount that I'm making and then you just want to cook your chicken, fry it off in the oil for around 10 to 15 minutes until it has fully cooked through. So now that my chicken is fully cooked, I'm actually going to turn the heat off and I'm going to let this cool completely again. Um, so this is what it's looking like. I just thought I would give you a close up. Next up, I have got some dried pasta here, which I'm going to boil and then again, cool completely. And now we are going to prepare our veggies. So I've got a whole cucumber here. And again, I'm just going to start by slicing it down the middle and then I'm going to cut into small pieces. So once you have finished chopping up your cucumber, you just want to put it into a large bowl for now. And then we're going to move on to the next ingredient. So I have got two small tomatoes here that I have washed and I'm gonna do the same again with these. So it's basically the same process for all of our ingredients. We're going to cut them up into small pieces and we're going to continue to add to our bowl. Next up, I have got two carrots here that I'm just going to cut and I'm going to peel them. And then I actually decided I wanted to grate them. It's just a lot um, easier. So I went ahead, grated my carrots and they went into the bowl as well. Then I have taken two red onions, again, peel them, start chopping them into small pieces. and add your onions into the bowl. So this is what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to add in a few other ingredients. So I've got a tin of red kidney beans that I have rinsed and drained. Then I'm adding in a tin of chickpeas, again, that I have drained. Then I'm also going to add in one tin of sweet corn that I have also drained. Now I'm adding in the cooked chicken that has cooled down completely. Then I realized this bowl was just not big enough. So I transferred everything into a larger pan. So that is everything going in. Then I added in the potatoes that I had boiled and they have been cooling as well. Then I added in my cooked pasta again that has cooled pretty much completely and now I am going to add in some good old mayo. So I actually used the whole bottle. This is a 400 gram bottle. Um, I know it seems like a lot but there's a lot of ingredients in here. Then I'm going to add in some of this natural yogurt. So I went ahead and added in two heaped tablespoons. 
And the final thing I'm going to be adding is some of this chaat masala. You can find this in the Asian aisle in the supermarket. Um, so I started by adding in one tablespoon. This does have a little kick to it, so I didn't want to add too much at the start. So you just want to continue to mix until everything is really well combined. And I promise you all of these ingredients mixed together, once they mingle in together, um, it just tastes amazing. This has to be my absolute favorite cold pasta salad. So once everything was well mixed, this is what it was looking like. Um, and now we'll just go ahead and fill up our meal prep containers. So I managed to get six meal prep containers out of the amount that I made. But saying that, I do want to mention that these containers are absolutely huge. They hold approximately two portions, so they are massive. Um, so if you've got smaller containers, then you can probably double up this recipe. But now these are going to go into the fridge. And like I mentioned, the longer that these sit in the fridge, the better this pasta turns out. So please give it a go. I know there's a lot of cutting, chopping and grating involved. But once it's done, it will be absolutely delicious. So please give it a go. So there you go guys, that is how I make this cold pasta salad, which is absolutely perfect for meal prepping. And don't forget, I will link all of the ingredients and the measurements in the description box down below if you do want to follow along. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye.